higher housing prices and lack of inventory has decreased the California housing affordability, meaning the income required to buy a home has doubled in the last five years. Now, this time last year, 31% could afford to purchase, whereas at the end of the first half of this year, only 29% of California households could afford to purchase. Now, the median home price statewide is $553,260. Now, that means a minimum annual income of $110,890. That's needed to make monthly payments of $2,770, including principal, interest, and taxes on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage at 4.09% interest rate. Now, locally, Sacramento County is at 45% down, just a percent from this time last year. El Dorado County actually improved slightly from 38% last year to 40% year to year. Placer County took the biggest hit, decreasing from 47% in July 2016 to 43% at the end of the second quarter. Now, San Francisco dropped 1% from 13% last year, but the Bay Area overall dropped from 23 to 21% this year. Now, only six counties in California posted an improvement in affordability, which surprisingly included Napa and Santa Barbara. July reported the median number of days on the market in California remained flat from June at 22.8 days year to year. That decreased from 28 days a year ago. Sacramento County is at 18.2 days. That's down from 19.4 a year ago. And Placer County dropped 1% to 20.3 days. El Dorado County remains flat at about 28 days. According to Freddie Mac, mortgage rates continued to go lower in July as the 30-year fixed rate mortgage interest averaged 3.97% in July. That's up from 3.9 in June and up from 3.44 in July 2016. The five-year adjustable rate mortgage interest rates edged up slightly in July. It's an average of 3.22%. That's from 3.14 in June and up from 2.75 this time a year ago. Now for minding your own business. MailChimp has added a new feature recently, so we tried it out a couple of times. It's Facebook ads. Now you can design, write the content for, select your demographics and areas of interest, add keywords, and then post your Facebook ad through MailChimp. Now we were a bit curious as to who would want to do that instead of creating your ad directly on Facebook, so we ran two ads through MailChimp. It was actually much easier than it is using Facebook. And the analytics and results were easier to understand. Now, if you're challenged with a Facebook ad creator and analytics, the MailChimp feature is a pretty good option. We recommend using it for your ads. Well, that's it for this week's Real Estate Insider. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.